everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a packet to unpack together. Now, this is from Nicholas Craft Shop and I have no idea what's inside, so I thought that'd be really exciting to come on here today and unpack it with you guys and then we'll see what we can make with the contents. I will pop the link to Nicholas Craft Shop in the description below this video, so check that out. She does some amazing weekly deals. She does a tenner Tuesday and a five Friday. And included in those deals, you'll get some mixed fabrics and they'll all be in season and on trend. And you also get a few extras thrown in. So you get more than your money's worth. So they are well worth checking out. Also on the website, she does pre-cut loops. These are fantastic. If you're just starting out and you're unsure what kind of interest you're gonna get before you start splashing out on all the different templates and the fabrics, you can just buy some pre-cut loops and then put those together and then you can upload them onto your social media or wherever you want to advertise them and then you can just put the feelers out there to see what interest you're going to get so that's a great thing to do if you're just starting out also you can get personalized pre-cut loops these are also amazing if you've been doing hair bows for a while and you want to take the next step into the personalized bows but you don't want to waste a whole sheet just for one name order you can just get them from Nicholas Craft Shop. Anyway, I want to get this open. So we'll open this now and we'll see what's inside. So I'm gonna try and get these out of the packet one by one and look at these with you guys. And we'll have a look at these together. So the first one, we have this gorgeous floral printed canvas. Now the colours on this are absolutely stunning. The print quality is beautiful and that is printed on a canvas like I would print my own canvas. So if I make a bow with this, I would back this with felt. It's completely up to you. But as you've seen in my previous tutorials, I do like to back my thinner fabrics with felt. So I will back this with felt, but the colours are absolutely gorgeous. This is perfect for the spring summer season. We'll set that one aside. Our next fabric, I'll slide that out of the packet. So this is silver pearl chunky glitter and this is mostly silver glitter but when you look closely that has got these gorgeous iridescent pinky flecks in it as well but I can also see little specks of purple, I can see specks of like a mint green, there is yellow in there, a lime colour, there is loads of different specks of glitter in there so that would go with a multitude of patterned fabrics or colours. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then our next fabric. So this one is called Sprinkles Chunky Glitter. This one feels super thick. It's a gorgeous quality, this one. That is a really nice thick glitter. It's got a lovely soft backing. And look at the colours in this. That really does look like sprinkles. You've got pinks, purples, greens, yellows, all sorts of colours in there. Again, if I show you it against the floral fabric, as you can see, that is going to be so easy to match with a multitude of patterns or coloured fabrics. So that's a really good fabric to have when you're stuck for matching colours. This will go with almost any colour or print. What else have we got in here? Oh, I've got some lovely little samples here. Luxury Cadbury Purple Chunky Glitter. Look at the glitter on that, that's stunning. Again, this is a really nice thickness. There's no need to back it. You can just make a bow with that straight off without backing it. And what I also like is that the back is purple also. Now, when you get a fabric like this and the back is also purple, you can make those bows which sort of show the backing. So if you're making a bow that sort of twists around and you can see the inside, if that makes sense, then you don't have to worry about backing it with anything else because it's already purple inside. So that is brilliant. So this one is Luxury Blue Bottle Chunky Glitter. This is like an aqua sort of blue colour with chunky silver bits in it. And it's also got like rose gold speckles in it as well. Can you see that? These little, these big sort of flecks of glitter in there, they're like a rose gold colour. That is beautiful. I love that one. 
And then this one is Luxury Dark Rainbow Chunky Glitter. Wow, look at that. So it's almost got sort of a black look to it. That's also got a rainbow of different colour flecks of glitter in there. Ooh, now the next one has got a little warning on it, which tells me that this is a colour change fabric. I'm so excited about this. I love the colour change fabric. These react in sunlight, so the warning on here tells you to keep it in a dark place. I have had colour change fabric before and I've stored my daughter's bows on her bow holder in her bedroom. And unfortunately, they do lose the ability to colour change. So it's a really good idea to store this fabric in a dark place and also the finished bows to pop a note in with your finished bows or when you advertise them to let them know to store the bows in a drawer and not a bow holder or something like that. So I'm just going to take the fabrics apart. Wow, look how quick they change. Can you see that? So we've got a gorgeous lilac-y purple colour here, which starts off lilac, and as you can see, I'll keep my thumb there, then you should be able to see, that goes deeper and deeper in colour in that daylight. So if I just remove my thumb now, look at that. That is gorgeous. And then we've got this gorgeous pink, which goes from baby pink to hot pink. And the reaction time is super quick. So now I'm back at my desk, and as you can see, they've already just about gone back to their original white colour and again the thickness of these and the quality is amazing there is no need to back these they will hold good shape if you make a loop with those as you can see it's got a really nice soft backing on these so that is the colour change in fabric oh lovely so as I was saying to you earlier we've actually got some samples of the bow loops the pre-cut loops We've got this gorgeous strawberry one. My little girl loves strawberries, so I'm sure she'll claim this one. And then you've got Born to be a Princess, and that is paired with that gorgeous floral print like we saw on the canvas here. That is really pretty. With these, you can add your own style to it. So you could add some little flowers in the middle. You could add some diamantes around the word. So you don't have to just stick to these. You can really make these your own. This one says different, not less. And for those that don't know, this ribbon represents autism. And it says here, autism awareness. So that is a gorgeous hair bow for a little girl to wear that has autism. Such a lovely idea. And then this one, oh, I love giraffes. Look at that. That is stunning. You've got a gorgeous giraffe on this side. And the reason it's printed halfway is because when you make the bow, that is the only part that you'll see. That is absolutely gorgeous, I love it. This would look fantastic with this glitter here, because it's got all the different colors in it from the, from the giraffe and the print here. Oh, next we've got one of these Alice bands. Now, I've never had one of these before. I've always looked at them and I've never bought any because I've always just bought the plain ones and stuck the bows on. But these are stunning, look at that. That's like iridescent glitter. That's really nice and soft, so that would be really comfortable on a child's head. I'd probably even wear this myself. I love headbands. And that is a gorgeous purple colour. So I'm super excited to get my hands on one of these, because like I said, I've never bought one before, so I can now get to try that out. Got one more item. Oh, I love this. Oh, look at this. I've got my own coaster with my logo on it. Oh, this is amazing. So this can be used like a photo prop. So when you're taking photos of your hair bows, you can pop this down and have it in your photo. Or when I'm doing my YouTube tutorials, I can lay it on my desk here like this. And then that's there all the time for everyone to see with my name and logo and everything on it. I absolutely love that. So that is now everything unpacked out of the bag and we have some gorgeous stuff to work with. So now I'm going to put a little bow together using our supplies.
So here we have five finished samples using the products that we got from Nicholas Craft Shop today. Now I did add in a couple of my own fabrics. This one was one that I already had in my craft stash. This rainbow fabric I already had and these flowers are what I already had. But everything else came from Nicholas Craft Shop. I absolutely love this giraffe one. I think this has to be my favourite. That is just so pretty and that goes so well with the dark rainbow fabric. That is stunning. And on this one, I did half of the colour change in fabric. This turns to purple, as I did show you a little while ago. I did the video in the daylight, but at the moment I'm not in direct sunlight, so it's gone white again. But I thought that just adds a really nice bit of interest to this bow. And I used the purple to bring out the purple in the flowers. So that is a really pretty hair bow, that one. And little girls, they absolutely love the colour change in fabric. They think they're so magical. I was going to make this one to stick on this headband because I thought that would look really sweet on there but I've decided to keep this for a future tutorial and all of the other fabrics that I haven't used today you will most definitely be seeing them in future tutorials as well so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell button as well to turn on notifications and that way you won't miss any future tutorials featuring these gorgeous products. I hope you enjoyed this unpacking and making video with me today. I'll see you again soon. Bye!